Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Review. So I'm going to carry on doing some more boots, shoe reviews. Today we're going to redo a pair of boots that were so popular, I did them at the start of my channel. So I thought, let's do them again. So guys, what we're going to do today is another pleaser. So I've done recently the pleaser shoes and I know stilettos are not for everybody. Now these, these are old guys. So I just wanted to show you how good pleaser shoes are and how durable they are. So these are these pleaser, they're the red flame pleaser boots. Now guys, there is some marks on them because these are 10 years old. And these are the kind of boots that I'm going to be wearing for the competition. I'll give you a little bit of a hint there. So these are what we call the um, PVC patent lace up gothic red flame boots from Pleaser. They they priced, I think it was around 75 to 80 pound guys. And this was way back in 2010. And I bought these from a shop called Alternative Footwear, which is in Ramsbottom. Since then, I've bought a lot of shoes and footwear online from then. But we actually physically went to the shop and it was when I first met my husband. So, well, nah, 10 years ago, 10 years ago. And this alternative footwear does demonia boots, they do pleaser, they do new rocks, they do all kinds of gothic footwear. I will link the shop in the description box so you can go and check out their website. Absolutely amazing and really good value. And as you can see, these boots have lasted. And yes, guys, I have physically worn these out a few times to rock night. So guys, as you can see, they've got a really good thick heel. Now the heel's like, it's like a, it goes in and then out at the bottom. Um, as you can see, they've lasted quite a while to say that I have worn these out. I don't think they came with spur heelies. And as you can see, they've got good, it's like an anti-slip at the bottom, guys. Um, but they have this little groove at the front, which kind of tilts you slightly. So if you've never worn these kind of boots before and you do put them on and you kind of tilt, you've got to be really careful with them. Because when I first put these on, I was like, whoa, and I nearly went head over ass on them. Um, since then, I, I perfected wearing them because I, I do wear a lot of gothic platform shoes despite my back disabilities i sometimes find these quite comfortable there is a two to three centimeter platform that goes all the way at the bottom which you know is fairly standard so these are not very uncomfortable guys these are comfy like i said about my pleaser shoes i don't know what it is about them they just have this comfort to them they've got like a like an in an in cushion like an inserted cushion in there. I haven't put that in, that comes in with it. Now the front guys, it laces up the front. Again, this is that typical lace that I tell you about, which I'm not a great fan of. I, they just, I don't know, I just don't like this kind of lace. Eventually I would like to change the laces on these and probably get some extra long um, flamed ones, but I probably only tie them from here upwards, but they come with this standard lace and they do lace all the way up and they've got this hook that goes all the way up and then they lace again at the top just to make it easy but the beauty about these guys if you do lace them up you can zip them down the zip can be a little bit stiff guys i will admit Ugh. and these are like 10 years old so as you can see the zip is a little bit stiff and what it is it's the insert if you keep the insert they should zip down, but they are a little bit stiff, the zip, guys. You can easily fix that anyway. There's something that I can put on my zips that make them zip up a bit easier. But I've never had any issues. The zip's never broke. It's never, like, caught or pulled or the teeth. They do zip up pretty well. They zip up better when they're on your legs rather than you're trying to do it manually without being in the boot. They are a good wide calf boot guys now as you know i have issues when it comes to calf boots i just can't get boots to fit my calves i've done the demonia boots i will link the demonia in the eye so you get to have a look at them boots if you're interested but again if you've got big calves like me they're not really what i'd call um they don't fit very well with these because they have this this lace effect at the front they fit a lot better now 
I prefer boots that have a zip at the back and they have a lace at the front. My New Rocks have that. Um, and I think my Dr. Martins, my Vonda boots have that as well. I have got a lot of boots that are exactly the same. Now, the only trouble when I see a really nice pair of Demonia boots that have just got a zip and no laces, I just know for a fact that they won't fit me. Now, I don't know if these are still available to buy, guys. What I will do is I'll try and link them down below. There's something in my face. <laughs> I'll try and link them down below. I will link the alternative shop anyway so you can take a look what else that she does in her shop. But if I can find these, they may be a bit cheaper now, guys. So it's worth you having a look. These are stunning on, guys. Absolutely stunning, which is why I want to wear them for the alternative competition. And as you can see, I, I walk quite comfortable in them, quite confident in them, and it's because... I'm, I'm used to wearing this kind of footwear and because they're a boot they're quite secure as well guys now they do wipe quite easily because they're pvc they do get dirty rather, rather quick i have got a few scuffs on them guys but come on they are 10 years old but they wipe beautifully so guys if you're into your your gothic pvc kind of boots and you're interested in pleaser this is just one of the many boots that they do and i absolutely love these i will never ever ever get rid of these boots okay guys i hope that's give you a little bit of insight onto these boots they're part of my collection i collect shoes i collect boots and um i've got plenty of boots i'm going to be showing a lot more of my shoes i know i've, I've been asked to do a whole collection of my footwork in one video it's impossible it's impossible but what i might do is bring down some of my old gothic maybe my pleaser shoes that you haven't seen and in my gothic boots you haven't seen and we'll do a video so if you're interested you can go ahead and buy them so i'll try and find these for you guys so don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to come and join us we do lots of footwear we do lots of clothing we do a lot of gothic alternative items and don't forget to come and hit the notification bell so you don't miss when i upload take care of yourself guys and i'll see you in the next one stay safe Bye for now.